Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance, and in this video we will compare the effectiveness of free weights versus machines on muscle growth. First and foremost, we need to define what we mean when referring to free weights and machines. Basically, these are two different ways to perform resistance training, although both methods require the muscle to contract against resistance. Let's now define what each of these methods are. Free weight exercises essentially refer to any exercise which involves lifting an external load that can move in any direction. So the weight being used can freely move around and only provides resistance vertically down due to gravitational forces. Free weight exercises involve any movements which uses plates, barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells, or any other freely movable object. Some examples of free weight lifts include the back squat, bench press, dumbbell curl, and military press. Machine-based exercises, on the other hand, are those which involve lifting with a system that has a set movement pattern. These lifts can only be moved in a specific way and are usually built to target a specific muscle or group of muscles. Unlike free weights, machines provide resistance in many different directions and patterns. Depending on how the machine is built, resistance can be provided in horizontal, vertical, or diagonal directions, and in straight lines or arcs, and resistance can vary throughout the range of motion. Some examples of machine-based exercises include the chest press machine, leg press, shoulder press, and hamstring curl. While free weights and machines cover most exercises, we also have other forms of resistance training like cable exercises and bodyweight lifts. While these don't exactly fit perfectly into either category, for the sake of this video we will consider bodyweight lifts as free weight movements and cable exercises as machine movements. However, it should be noted that although we are talking about free weights and machines as two binary options, there is a spectrum of different exercises that can be considered more characteristic of free weight lifts and some exercises which are probably more characteristic of machines. Before comparing free weight and machine exercises, we first need to understand that resistance training is simply a stress to the muscle. Our muscles don't know what form of resistance we are applying, they simply recognize it as stress. For strength training, exercise specificity becomes more of a concern because it is a performance outcome, although for hypertrophy training, we are only concerned with structural adaptations. Therefore, there are no mandatory exercises for hypertrophy training, there are many different ways to stress the muscle and therefore induce muscle growth. That being said, let's now cover what unique benefits free weights have over machines. The first primary benefit that free weights have over machines is versatility. Free weights can freely move in any direction, which means trainees can adjust how the lift is performed to make it more effective. While machines often allow you to adjust some things like seat position, the movement pattern is ultimately fixed and cannot be changed. The movement pattern can be adjusted in hundreds of different ways with free weight lifts to suit the individual. Each trainee is slightly unique, and the same machine probably won't be perfectly suited to every lifter. With free weights, trainees can adjust technique based on anatomical structure and joint tolerance to make it maximally effective for them. The second benefit that free weights have is their involvement of accessory muscles. This could be seen as a positive or a negative depending on the context. Free weights generally involve more accessory and stabilizer muscles because the trainee must find stability in all planes of motion. Machines have a set movement pattern, so there are minimal stability requirements because you can't deviate from the movement. So free weights generally involve more muscle groups in each exercise, which makes them more efficient. For example, free weight squat, deadlift, and row variations involve high trunk stability demands. This means the abs and spinal erectors are probably getting a decent stimulus from this form of training. So trainees may be developing these muscles without having to directly train them. This may mean that we don't have to do direct training for some muscle groups if they are getting trained enough already. Therefore, training is overall more time efficient. And the last distinct benefit of free weights over machines is equipment requirements. This is more of a practical consideration rather than a physiological benefit. Free weights are highly versatile and flexible in what you can do with them. Having a barbell with plates and a set of dumbbells can allow trainees to pretty much find a way to train the entire body. While some exercises may not be ideal, it is still a much more equipment efficient way to train. Machines, on the other hand, generally only allow you to perform one exercise in one set pattern. Cable machines may be more versatile, but they are still not nearly as resourceful as free weights. This may be of a concern for gym owners who have limited space for equipment, or those with home gyms who need cost and space efficient equipment. 
Now let's cover what unique benefits machines have over freeweights. The first benefit that machines can potentially have is superior tension curves. This refers to the amount of resistance that occurs at different portions throughout the lift. As we know, free weights only provide resistance in a downward direction due to gravity, and this resistance doesn't change. With machines, the resistance can be applied in all different directions, and it can change at different portions of the lift. This may be beneficial in specific situations for some muscles. Machines are often manufactured to match the tension curves of different movements and muscles to provide a more constant resistance throughout the entire range. For example, a machine preacher curl is probably going to provide a more constant tension throughout the entire range of motion compared with a free weight preacher curl. Furthermore, a pec deck machine will provide a more constant tension profile on the pecs compared with a free weight dumbbell fly. The next benefit of machine based exercises is their ability to maintain strict technique. Because machines only allow a set movement pattern, they make the technique very easy to perform correctly. It is very difficult for trainees to deviate technique because they simply contract against resistance and the machine determines the movement that occurs. This allows all the stress to be directed to the muscle and not distributed to other muscles or joints. For example, during a leg extension machine, 100% of the stress is placed on the quads and there is almost no way to compensate with other movements because you are locked in by the seat, backrest and pad. And the last primary benefit machines have over free weights is higher stability. Like we mentioned in the free weight section, this could be seen as both a benefit or a negative. Machines provide more stability with various seats, backrests, pads and more. This essentially locks the trainee into a position so that they don't really need to stabilize other joints. The benefit to this is that it concentrates the tension on a single muscle or muscle group without much involvement of other accessory or stability muscles. This means that the target muscle is more likely to be the limiting factor to performance rather than other muscles or central systems. This may be beneficial because we can really disrupt a single muscle group with less systemic fatigue and less fatigue of other muscles. So what can we conclude from all of this information? Well, we should now understand that neither machines or free weights are inherently better in all situations. Both forms of resistance have their unique benefits over each other. This means that both forms of training have their place in a training program, and it more so comes down to the specific context of the individual. Free weights are generally more efficient, versatile, and train more muscle groups simultaneously. However, they are more fatiguing, require higher stability demands, and may not provide the best tension curves for some muscle groups. Machines, on the other hand, require low stability demands, make the movement extremely strict, and can have more favorable tension curves in some cases, which provides a very concentrated stimulus to the specific muscle you are training. However, they are less time efficient and not all machines suit the individual anatomy of each trainee. As a practical guideline, trainees can use a combination of both forms of resistance training and implement each one where they see fit. Generally, compound lifts are best to provide a good full body hypertrophy stimulus and machines are best to accumulate more volume to muscle groups that want to be emphasized. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.